Hi, I'm Senator George Parker, and happy holidays to everybody. Merry Christmas. Hope you're having a, a good time this time of year. Uh, my gift to you right now is uh, I want to fill you in a little bit on how the tolling systems work both on 95 and on uh, 66 and on the Beltway in, uh, in Northern Virginia here. Uh, a lot of people have questions about that and particularly with the issues that we've had with uh, very high tolls that have been charged on 66 since that recently opened. The tolling systems are set up and are designed to make sure the traffic can flow at a particular pace uh, and it's not always a, it's not the same on every highway. Under federal law, uh, when you set up these types of systems, you can bring the, the speed of uh, cars and traffic on a, a particular roadway down as low as 45 miles an hour on average. Uh, in the system that we have in, on 95 in, in Stafford County, uh, in Prince William County, and in Fairfax County, going all the way from Garrisonville up to the uh, Springfield area, uh, I was able to get the action taken to be able to maintain this average speed on there at a minimum of 55 miles an hour. So the speed is not allowed to drop below, average speed is not allowed to drop below 55 miles an hour. The reason that we did it there was that the uh, average speed in the morning from Dumfries to Springfield prior to the uh, uh, express lanes being built was 79 miles an hour. And in the afternoon going south, it was 78 miles an hour. We were concerned that if you slowed it down too much, such as to 45 miles an hour, people would stop taking, uh, right, forming carpools, standing in slug lines, taking buses, and then we would actually have a negative impact on, on traffic. Uh, so we were able to get it set at 55. On the Beltway, it's at 45, and on, uh, on 66, it's also going to be in that, in that area as well. What happens is that when the traffic gets down to, say, the 55 mile an hour speed average on 95, the tolls go up so that fewer people come on and you don't drop below that 55 miles an hour. When the speed starts going back up, then they uh, lower the, the, the tolls at that point so that more traffic can come on and you can get more people using those lanes. So it's designed to make sure that there's not gridlock on the uh, lane such as in, on 95 and now in 66 and that we make sure that people continue to flow, uh, traffic continue to flow freely, people get where they want to be in a reasonable amount of time and that we provide the proper incentives for use of slug lines, buses, carpools, those types of things to maximize the number of people. And the number of people we already have on 95 uh, the throughput we have there is incredible just in terms of the, the number of people because we're getting so many people in each of the vehicles during that time that it works best for everybody. So Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and I hope, hope that uh, you continue to have safe travels.